Hey guys, welcome back for another Spikic adventure. So as you can see, I am sitting in the M2 right now. And if you guys didn't know, uh, we had bought a G87 M2. So check out that video if you haven't already. We decided to get a dash cam for the front of our car. So product link in the description below. So I'm gonna do some unboxing right here. And then afterward, we are gonna go ahead and install it. And the really cool thing about this particular dash cam is how sleek it looks. So first things first, um, this box honestly reminds me of like Apple. You can tell. <laughs> it really looks like some sort of Apple product. I'm pretty sure this is a China company. Yes. Yeah. Guangdong Province, China. So, um, all right. We have a accessories box and you have a dash cam box and then it also comes with a booklet this instruction booklet this looks like an instruction booklet okay we'll put this here for now oh it's a little cheap looking the box itself well it doesn't really matter the, what matters well they there. were trying to copy apple so i don't think apple's like this okay <laughs> Okay, package with some wrap that's mm -hmm. nice oh this is like the yes the cover so basically this whole dash cam is gonna be integrated to the so car cool. original camera look like this like this huh yes so Something we're gonna like replace the stock plastic housing oh this thing yes oh. and we're gonna that looks kind of similar if yeah. we put it next yeah. to each other. That's... The lines are a little bit different, vent, yeah. but yeah, that's kind of similar. All right, cool. And the cool thing is uh, I also come with SD card, so on the side. Where? Um, oh, right here. Yeah. So yeah, we drop this shit. 128 gig. I wonder if it'll stand up to sun though. Like, is this like a cheaper type of plastic? This looks, this feels well, pretty We'll cheap. find out. I have a feeling, I don't know, I wonder if it'll crack. No, because you know why? The part of this windshield, it uh, has a tint on it. Like, oh, it, it blocks the goodness. sun directly. And, okay, they give us a little plastic uh, prying, tool. prying thing. You have your little wire. Yeah, that's to uh, basically tap the wire and from the car. And a USB. Mm -hmm. All right, cool. All right, let's get started. I feel like the clips just broke, bro. How did you broke it? I don't, I don't know. <laughs> Holy shit. Did it break? No, it didn't. But I think that's what's supposed to happen. Look at how fragile these things are. The trick is like you have to, you start up here. Like don't bother with the bottom part. You start at this edge right here and then try to like somehow just drag get, it down. get this in there. You can use this end first. I actually found it more helpful to use this corner because this was too fat. Like you kind of wedge here and get a little gap. And then afterward, you just like try to separate it. And then you'll find that because there's a, there's a hook right here. It might separate here, but if this part doesn't separate, you're going to have a hard time. So you just have to keep like dragging it and yank it out. But yeah, it's like super fragile. Look at these like tiny little things. Oh, yeah. yeah. Next, we'll install this uh, power cable. What's neat about this dash cam is it's fully integrated to um, uh, get the power from... Uh, kind of like this general area where the rear view mirror is. Um, out of dash cam, you have to hook up, um, usually tap the wire from the fuse box and you have to run all those uh, wires through um, the A-pillar all the way down. Mm -hmm. It just doesn't look, look neat. Jink. This one is all enclosed, so. Wow. Or so. How did he get it out? I feel like it was already out halfway. I swear, yeah. Are you sure? Ow, fuck. Still not out. It's like kind of out. Nope. 
Is it out? Yeah. Well, oh, it's coming out. There you go. Yay. Yeah. Just a plier on the side. You can like hook it. I see you missing. Oh, yeah, you're right there. Yay! So now, actually, which way is better? Let's see if I can. So now, you can. Now it's all hooked up. Yeah. And then you have this thing here. So you, when it when the camera comes, um, it was like connected the two halves. So you just need to separate it. So now we'll try to hook it up. The power. Okay. How how am I gonna do this? I mean, just put it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do it there like that. Maybe like. Yep. are fine right I think so yeah I think I don't think it's pinched um and the wires I found it to be easier if you tuck it in towards the left side there's a lot of like space there you just fold it in neat and then tuck it in so basically you put the left side in first and then once it's kind of like tucked in and you feel like it's sitting right, then put in the right side cover and then buckle up the two clips here on the bottom and then buckle up the one top here and then just squeeze. You can kind of feel that it's sitting right by that time. And then once it's all like tucked in, it should be pretty tight. It's not moving. Mm -hmm. And this is how it looks on the outside. It looks very integrated. So similar to the OEM one that you don't really notice it. Like I really like it that it's the dash cam actually sits inside this plastic house housing. Yeah. People just don't fucking know how to drive it. They're not used to the no left turn. Oh what? yeah, the whole the whole situation yeah. with the left turn. Where am I supposed to get out then? are looking for a um, dash cam for your BMW like I think this is a pretty good solution other than that as always questions leave them down below you like don't like please like <laughs> stay tuned for more specific adventure I'll see you guys next time bye